Varsity has designed this aerobic pump class to help you isolate and tone the major muscles of your body more effectively than ever before. This pump class utilizes wrist and ankle weights as additional resistance in combination with some unique exercises. By using this class three times a week, you will feel and see changes in your body in just a few weeks. This is an advanced and strenuous class, so we strongly recommend that you do not use any wrist or ankle weights the first few times you exercise. This will allow you to learn the new movements safely while your muscles begin adapting to the routine. When using any type of weight or resistance, care must be taken to use it properly. All movements should be steady and consistent, never jerky or ballistic. Be sure to watch and feel the range of motion of your muscles and joints. Do not allow the weights to control your movements. You control the weights. Protect your joints by not allowing the weight or movement to snap or lock your elbow or knee or any other joint. You do not have to use much weight to feel your muscles work. Concentrate on the muscle groups we isolate and contract them fully. If you become fatigued, stop and rest. Reduce the resistance of your weights. If an exercise does not feel right for you, check your form and modify your position or movement. If it still doesn't feel right, discontinue the exercise and consult your physician. In order to achieve benefits from aerobic exercise, you must elevate your pulse to a training level for approximately 20 minutes or more. Our 50-minute class has a 35-minute non-impact pump section during which you should stay within your selected target heart rate for best physiological benefit. The class will provide excellent cardiovascular and muscular results, but you must perform the exercises at a pace and level that are safest for you. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends maintaining a target heart rate of between 60 and 90 percent of your theoretical maximum heart rate. To calculate your maximum heart rate, subtract your age from 220. This is a level which you should never exceed. To determine your target or training level, multiply your maximum heart rate by your selected training level percentage. For example, if you select 60 to 70%, multiply your maximum heart rate times 0.6 and 0.7. We strongly recommend that you get a complete physical examination from your physician and his or her recommendations for the training levels that are best for you. We will be stopping periodically to check our pulse rates to make sure that we are on our selected target training levels. When we stop, take your pulse either on your radial artery at the wrist or on your carotid artery on the side of your neck for 15 seconds. Multiply the number you get in 15 seconds by four to give you your pulse rate per minute. If you have additional questions on determining your proper level, refer to this section in your how-to video. Remember, work at a comfortable level. You may find the workout strenuous depending upon your fitness level or the amount of weight and resistance you use and how hard you work during the class. Modify the class to fit your needs by reducing the weight, shortening the range of motion of the exercise movements, or the intensity at which you perform them. Stay within your proper training heart rate. If you need to rest, take a few slow, deep breaths until you recover. If at any time you feel lightheaded or experience pain, discontinue the exercises and consult your physician. We are sure you will find Marcy's aerobic pump class both challenging and rewarding. Okay, let's warm it up first. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. Palms together. Inhale, reach up. Pull down, exhale, relax. Once more, inhale. Release, exhale. Okay, warm up the track. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just the right shoulder back, four. And one, two, three. Left shoulder, four. And one, two, three, four, front four, one, two, three, left shoulder front, and one, two, three, last time, four, up, down, and stretch, six, stretch, seven, one more time, stretch, and eight, release, slowly lower, relax your back, let it stretch out, roll up four, three, two, and one, one more set, we flat back forward, good position, knees bent, relax the arms, elbows nice and high, let's go, begin, it's lift, and stretch, exhale, and stretch, two, and stretch, three, stretch, four, stretch, five, six, 
Seven, one more time. And eight, release the back. Tuck roll up for three, two, one. Variation single arm row. I'm gonna combine my dumbbells for more weight. You can use one or, or none depending upon your level. Bend forward, right hand on knee for support. The left arm hangs relaxed, full extension. And we just perform the same exercise with one arm. Let's go, begin. Lift, stretch, lift. Back is stabilized by the arm. So it's nice and round. We don't, we don't hunch down or let our bodies hang. Nice and flat, that's four. Five, six. See how high you can get the elbow without rotating your back. Keep the back stabilized. Eight, one more eight. That's one. Big stretch, exhale. Two, blow out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Once more, eight. Let's change hands. Right down, right away. Let's go and begin. Lift and stretch. Two, if it becomes excessively strenuous, you lower the resistance by dropping the weight or getting the hand, uh, remove your wrist weight. Four, five, six, seven, one more set of eight. One, two, three, exhale. Four, five, exhale. Last two, one more time, exhale. Release, stretch forward, relax your back. Okay, roll it up. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flat back forward. One more stretch of the back. We're gonna do one more back exercise in rear delt. Roll it up four. Three, two, one. Flat back forward. Arms hang and we keep the elbows slightly bent. We lift the elbows up. Lateral to the side, rear delt lateral. Release. And lift, release, and lift. Once again, if it becomes too heavy, the resistance, you drop the resistance, maybe just use the wrist weights, maybe take the wrist weights off, depends on your level. Five, six, seven, one more time. That's eight, release the back, stretch it out, let the back recover. Roll it up, four, three, two, one. One more set, flat back forward. Arms hanging, released, elbows up and out. Begin, it's lift and down. Lift and two, three, four, five, six. Exhale when you lift. Seven, one more. And eight, release the back, forward bend. Okay, move the dumbbells to the side. We go immediately to chest. We walk the hands back. Push up position. About shoulder width. If you find that doing it from your toes is too strenuous, you drop to your knees, you do it from a knee position, but the back is still straight and flat. Up on the toes, two counts going down. Ready? So one, two, press it up. Three, four, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five, last three. One, two, three, last two. One, two, three, last time. Okay, bend the knees, sit back, stretch the shoulders. And now we immediately go into an alternative chest exercise, which is called pectoral flies. We recline onto our back, take the dumbbells, Bend the knees so you can press your lower back into the floor, nice and tight. Dumbbells are right over, right over top of your chest. We lower on two, one, two. Exhale, pull, three, and four, one. Do your chest stretch, exhale, pull. Top and down, it's one. Inhale, exhale, and four, one, two, three. That's three, it's one, two, three, Four, one, full stretch. Two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, 
One more set of eight. Keep the arms straight, stretch, and now pull with the chest. That's one, down, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pressure back into the floor so it's nice and safe. Inhale, exhale, press. Four more, inhale, one, two, three. Last three, concentrate on your chest, let it stretch. Exhale, last two, two, three. One more time, one, two, three. Slowly lower to the floor. Okay, sit back up. Okay, we turn right around again, push up position. This time we widen the hands out wider than shoulder width. If it becomes tiring again, we come down to the knees, not necessary to be on the toes to, to fatigue the chest. We come down on two, ready, one, two, up, three. That's one, one, two, three. Slow and steady, concentrate on the muscle. Press it up, that's three. One, stretch. That's four. One, two, three, five. Last three. One, two, three. Last two. One, two, three. Last time. Big breath in. Blow out and up. Sit back. Stretch the chest and shoulders. Okay, we turn right around immediately. Right into pectoral flies again. Grab the dumbbells, heels on the floor, back press down, two counts, lift, ready, begin. It's one, two, down, three, and four, lift it. It's one, two, slowly, three, feel the stretch on four, one, two, three, back is nice and flat, nice and safe, chest, squeeze up, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, last three, one, two, three, last two, one, two, three, one more time. Okay, bring him down to one inch, hold him right off the floor about an inch, feel your chest stretch, set him down, one more set of push-ups, sit up, right away before we recover, we come right around, index fingers together, thumb touching so we make a triangle. Legs extended. Slowly lower on two. One, two, up. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four more. One, two, three, last three. One, two, three, last two. One, two, three. Last time, one, two, three. Sit back on the heels, stretch. Okay, straighten the legs. Walk the feet forward. Take your dumbbells. Roll the back up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, starting with the shoulders next. First, first exercise is upright row. Lift the elbows up and out. Hands underneath the chin, and we lower. Two counts on the raise. One, two, three, four. Try not to emphasize the bicep. That's the front of the arm. You want to lift with the elbow so it goes into the shoulder, medial deltoid. Not the front, not the bicep. Four, one, two, three, four. Bend your knee slightly, tilt your pelvis forward so you're not arching your back and putting any strain on your lower back. Hips forward. One, two, three, and four. Twice more, we increase the tempo. One more time, exhale. One, two, three, tempo. It's lift, down, lift. And we control the weights. We never let them drop. We don't shock our arms. We don't jerk them up and down. We just slowly lower and lift. Focus on the shoulders. Nice and high with the elbows. One more set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One more time. Okay, relax your shoulders, shrug back. Take some tension out. We're gonna go right back to the shoulders again. Forward. Okay, bring the wrists up to shoulder level, right above the shoulders. Hips forward. Press up. Two, down, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Now we emphasize the front of the deltoid and the triceps. <clears throat> Right on the front delt and triceps. Down, full stretch. Press it up. Three, four. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Twice more, we go tempo. One, two, three. One more time. It's one, two, three. Tempo. It's down. Press and down. Press and down. Exhale. Again, we keep, the, we keep the momentum out of the exercise. We don't push and drop and push. We keep control, hips forward, steady press. Last eight, seven, six, five, four. Exhale, three, two, one more time. Okay, lower the weights. Shrug back. Release tension. Forward. Relax for a second. We'll go right back to shoulders. Last exercise. Lateral raise. Elbows are slightly bent. We bring the hands right out to the sides, just a hair above shoulder level. That involves medial deltoid as opposed to the um, anterior, which is the front. We let raise on two. It's one. Down, three, four. No momentum. We don't throw and then drop. It's nice and steady. It's one, two, lower, three. Make the muscle lower the weight as well as lift. Two, three, four, one, two, down, three, four more. We go tempo. One, two, three, three more. One, two, three, two more. One, two, three, one more. One, two, Three, tempo, lift, down, lift, down, control the speed of the weight, eight counts, that's two of them, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shrug back, release, forward, release, okay, let's work the traps alone now, lift, 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 lift. Shoulders go next to the ears. Keep it going. This works the top part of the shoulder. This is the trapezius. Lift it up. Shrug. High as you can go. Okay, bring them up and to the back slightly. Up and back. Eight counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Up and front. Up and front. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let them hang. Relax your neck for a moment. Lift and stretch. Last exercise for the shoulders. Front lateral as opposed to the side as we just did. We raise right to the front. Anterior delt once again. As with the shoulder press. Two count lift. Ready. Begin. One, two, three, four. One. Elbows are slightly bent, so protect the joint. Don't lock it out. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two more we go tempo. One. Okay, let's take the pulses, hand on the side of your neck or your wrist, and begin. And stop, times four. That's your pulse rate at this present time. If it's too high, slow it down. If it's not high enough, pick it back up. Okay, feet a little wider than shoulder width. Again, nice balanced position, hips forward, arms down and relaxed. Okay, we're gonna keep, keep the knees pointing out over the toes. We come down into the plie position. If you, if you see your knees are not over your toes, widen out just a little bit more. 
back straight. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna come up. When we come up, legs straight, and when we come down, it's bicep curl. So it's up and down, up and curl. Elbows stay in against the rib cage. Exhale. Back straight, exhale. Exhale. We're gonna take the pulse up a little bit higher than we were, possibly using the quads now. So it's a big muscle mass, more effort for the heart. Exhale. Do not swing the arms. Nice contraction, steady squeeze. Back is straight. If you get excessively tired, either modify the, the squatting action or the curling action. One more, one more count of eight, that's one. Exhale, two, three, back is straight, four, five, six, Seven, one more, the legs keep going, the arms drop. Just the plie part, back straight. Just use the resistance for added weight. Down, exhale, up, inhale, exhale. Four more, we change the exercise to shoulder pressing. Three, two, once more, bring the hands up. And now we shoulder press it, let's go, press it up. Down, press, down, press, down. And press. One more time, and we reverse the sequence. So we're down, we hold them up, down, press it up, down, press up, down, and press, and down, and press, and down, and press. Press overhead. Inhale, exhale. Eight more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Lower the arms, just the quads. Last set of eight. Lower the arms, release. That's one. Down. Two. Three. Four. Exhale when you come up. Five. Six. Seven. Last time. Okay, turn the feet to the right. Slowly lower the left knee. To lunge position. The other knee should be directly over the ankle, so there's no compression like this. Arms are hanging relaxed. We exhale straight when we come up. Bicep curl once again. So it's down, up, and curl. Let's go. And down, up, and curl. Keep it going. Emphasize the front leg, which is the right quad, and the right buttock. And curl. out when you come up. Out. Inhale. Exhale. Seven. One more set of eight. And down. Exhale. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Turn the feet front. Other side. Check the positioning first. We drop down. Knees above ankle. Arms down, ready, one, two, three, let's go. It's up, two, three, four. Now we concentrate on the left thigh and buttock. Six, seven, again for eight. One, two, use your breath, breathe out. Three, four, five, six, last two. One more, turn it back to the front. One more time, turn, slowly lower. Once again, check your position, ankle, knee over ankle. Arms extended, last set, ready, begin. It's lift and down, lift. Three, four, five, six, seven. One more set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time. Turn the feet front, other side, check position. Knee over toe. Ready, begin. Up, one, up, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 
Last count of eight. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn to the front. Exhale and stand up. Okay, bring the feet together. Okay, we're gonna do single leg extensions. Weights are just for balance. If you don't want the weights, put them back on the floor. We're gonna raise the right knee up. Balance, extension, it's out. One, eight counts, out, and two, out. Three, out, four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, one more, out, and eight, set it down. To get your balance on the right leg, bend the knee slightly, helps with your balance, left knee up. Ready, and a one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Eight, set it down. One more time with the right leg. Let yourself recover. Left knee slightly bent. Raise the right knee. Ready and begin. It's out and in. Out, two, out. Focus on the quad, just like the leg extension. Squeeze down. Last two, three, two more. One more time. Bring it down. Right knee slightly bent for balance, left knee up. Ready, begin, it's out. One, out, two, three, four, five, six, last two, one more. Okay, quads are finished. Bend the knees, place the dumbbells on the floor, sit right in the back of your heels, lightly stretch the quads. Okay, kick your legs out through to the side. Recline to your back, bring your knees into your chest. Let your lower back stretch out. Release the spine. Okay, both legs up, toes flexed. We're gonna go now from the quads on the top of the thigh, open the legs apart to the adductors on the inner thighs. We let the weight stretch us. If it's too much, take the weights back off. Do you feel any strain on your knees or your hips? Get rid of the weights. Okay, nice and easy, two counts together. One. Two out, three, four. One, two out, three, and four. One, two, three. One more time, we tempo. Now it's single. Go in, in, and out. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more count of eight. That's out. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Eight, bring your feet together, knees into the chest. Okay, sit up so you can get your dumbbells. You're gonna incorporate the arms and upper body now. Okay, back down. Bring the dumbbells right next to your head for a second. Knees into the chest, stretch the back. Okay, we're gonna do leg extension. Then we bring it back down. Leg extension and back down. At the same time we do leg extension, we do a pullover. So we bring our arms up and then back down when we bend the knees. Ready, leg extension first alone. It's up and down, up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, we're gonna change the upper body exercise to a tricep extension. Elbows point through the ceiling. Hands are next to the ears. When the legs extend, the elbows extend, focusing on the triceps. Let's go. It's extend and bend, extend and bend, exhale. Make sure the dumbbells are outside of the plane of your head, so when they come down, they, there is no way they can come near your face. They're right next to your ears. Now we're working quads on the legs, which we did leg extension standing, and we're also doing triceps now. One more count of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time. Lower the weight, knees into the chest, stretch the back. Okay, make sure you release your back after each exercise so your spine can relax, relax your muscles in your back. Okay, both legs up. Legs split. Okay, we do a single, a double arm pullover with straight arms. We exhale, pull straight up, and we bring it right back overhead. At the same time, we bring our feet together. So it's apart, so it's up, 
up, down for two, up, one, two, three, four, 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 one, exhale, two, stretch your back out, concentrate on your lats, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, last three, one, two, three, two more, one, two, three, one more, one, two, three, lower the weights, bring your knees into your chest, okay, sit all the way up, take your pulse rate, hand on the side of your neck, get ready, and go. Stop, times four, that's your present, heart, your present heart rate. If it's too high, you slow it down, too low, pick it back up. If you target range, keep on pumping. Let's come to our right hip. Resting on the elbow, knee over knee, 90 degree angle, hips at a 90 degree angle. Raise the top leg. Again, gluteus medius, focusing on the top of the buttock, then we lower, so it's lift, lift. And we keep this tight, we focus on the upper part of the hip. Outer side of the buttock. And lift, 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 lift. Okay, each time we lift, we focus that much more. It's not just a lift and a drop and a lift and a drop. We keep the focus on the, on the glute. Squeeze, squeeze. Each rep is more intense than the previous one. There's no resting stage. Six, seven, one more set of eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring the knee up, extend the foot, in, out, heel press, so the glute stays tight, now we work the quadricep on the extension, the hamstring on the curl, press and curl, alternating quad and ham, butt stays tight, that's four, that's six, excuse me, seven, one more time, eight, bring the knee into the chest, Turn right over, take that heel, bring it underneath your right hip, and sit right back on that buttock. So we feel the outer side, the medius we just worked, stretch it out. Okay, come on back up. Flip right over to the other side, same position. Knees are at a 90 degree angle, hips are at 90 degrees. We raise the heel and knee at the same height, and we lift it up. Up, focusing, top of the buttock, outside of the hip, gluteus medius. Lift and lift, lift. Concentrating here, your mind is focused on the muscle. Each lift is more, more intense, harder contraction than the previous one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, hold it up, leg extension, press away, and curl. Quad extension, hamstring curl. Quad extension, hamstring curl. Glute stays in total control and totally keeps contracting the entire time. Static, press and pull, press and pull, press. Last four, and three, and two. One more time, you got it, press it out. Bring it in, knee into chest. Turn it right over again. That right heel goes slightly under your left hip. And we feel the medius again, stretching out. It's good to stretch the muscle after you work it. Keep it relaxed and stretched. Don't allow it to just get tight. Okay, bring the other knee up. Sit back on both heels. Okay, slowly bring it up, roll it up. Let's turn back to the front. Okay, we're going to work the medius again in a hydrant, standard hydrant fashion, but we're going to come down onto our elbows to protect our lower back. We're going to bring the right knee out, perhaps to a 45. That's probably high enough. Do not attempt to get any higher and rotate your spine. Bring it to the point where your back remains flat, and then bring it right back in. That's plenty. Eight counts on the right. Ready? And begin. It's lift. Down. Lift. Two. Lift. Three. Lift. 
four, do not rotate your hips. That's five. Lift, six, lift, seven. One more, we go to the left leg. Left leg and lift. And down. Lift, two, lift, three, lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, lift, seven. One more, now we go right to the right leg. That's eight, it's lift. One, lift, two, focus on the medius, that's three, four, five, six, seven, one more, left leg, that's lift, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, one more time. That's eight. Slowly sit back, bring your right buttock over your right heel, stretch the right knee to your side. Okay, come back to the center. Press to the left side. Back to the center. Press to the right side one more time. And center, one more time left. And back to the center, come back out on the elbows. Now we're gonna work the maximus gluteus maximus part as opposed to the medius part, which is the biggest part in the back. We keep the, the foot flexed, we're gonna start with the right leg. We keep the knee bent, we press the heel towards the ceiling. We press to the highest point without hyperextending our spine. So we don't put a curve on our back, we just press to the ceiling. We bring it back down, so it's down and press, down, press it up and down. Drive the heel towards the ceiling, exhale when you press, exhale. That's four, five, Six, seven, another set of eight. That's down. And one. Two, breathe out when you press up. Three, focus on the buttock. Four, five, six. We're gonna switch immediately to the left after we get to eight, that's seven. One more, that's eight, switch it to the left. Begin, that's press. Knee stays at the same angle. It's all with the hip. Just extend the hip, hip extension, press the heel up. That's four, five, six, seven, one more eight. It's down, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. And eight, bring that down, sit back and stretch. Okay, put one dumbbell on either side of your body. We're gonna use the dumbbells, and incorporate the triceps with the glutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rest on the left, on the right elbow. We're gonna start with the right foot as we started before. The left elbow is gonna be against our side. So as we press up with the foot, we extend the arm back. So it's gluteal press, tricep extension, kick back. Okay, so they both come down. And then they both press up. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Begin, and it's press. And down. Elbow stays high and against your rib cage. That's two. And down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more eight. Exhale, that's one. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, bring it down. We just change the dumbbell, the opposite elbow, and now it becomes the left foot pressing, the right elbow stays against the rib cage, and that's the kickback. And we both bring them down. Okay, ready? Three, two, begin, and it's up, and down, up, and down. Don't forget about the glute. Use the tricep and press that heel up. Three, four. Don't swing the elbow. Keep it against your ribs. Five, six, seven. One more eight. That's one. Two, three, four. Five. 
Seven, one more. Eight. Okay, sit back on your heels. Stretch both, both glutes out. Get a little to the right side. A little left. Okay, come back to kneeling. Straighten both legs. Press the heels down. Walk the feet forward. Okay, bend the knees. Grab onto the dumbbells. We're going to finish the triceps off. We keep a flat back. Elbows are in against the sides. Exhale, we kick back and down. Exhale, kick it back and down. Same motion we just used, but we're doing both at the same time. Bilateral, press it up. If it gets too much on your back, you can stand up a little more and kick it back from here. But otherwise, we keep a nice flat back. Hiss, press and down. Press and down. Press and down. Press and down. Press. Eight times. Let's go. Here we go. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Nice flat back. I'll bring it up a little. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. And eight. Relax your arms. Relax your back. Stretch forward. Bend the knees a little. Decompress your spine. Do two more sets of eight. Straighten the legs. Flat back, elbows in, begin. It's press. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more set of eight. One, two, three. Nice flat back. Four. Five, six, seven. One more time. Okay, release the arms, stretch forward. Okay, widen the feet out a little. Okay, roll the back up. Four, three, two. Just a little waist oblique work. We lean right and left. Back is straight. We don't lean backward and arch the back, or we don't lean forward and, and hunch our back. We stand right to the side, and the shoulder lifts up. So we feel the stretch in the oblique, and the other side is contracting. Exhale. Okay, lift. One side rows. The other side is the oblique. Bend the knees a little, keep the back straight, hips forward, don't arch your back. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Relax your arms. Bend the knees. Set the dumbbells on the floor. Roll up four. Two, three, four. Inhale, reach. One. Flat back. Two, three, four. Roll up. Five, six, seven. Cool it down. And eight. Again, inhale. Flat back. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, one more time. Inhale, fly back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Widen the feet out just a little bit. Flatten the back. We lunge to the right, check the position. The knee's gotta be over toe. If it's forward here, or if it's compressing the knee like this, not proper, knee over toe. Other leg is straight. Check the other side. Knee directly over toe. Once we know both sides are correct, come back to the center. Right side. Tempo. Up. And left. If you feel it in your back or you're not strong enough because of the work we did, place your hands on your knees. Support your upper body's weight and just re relax and let your inner thighs stretch out. Up. Right. Same thing, but we take the back out of play by putting the fingertips on the floor. 
We support the torso with the fingers on the floor. Press and stretch. Backs are flat. Okay, we worked the legs pretty hard before, so what we want to do is we want to press it down and let them relax, stretch them right back out. Up. One more time each side. One more time right, one more time left. Okay, hold it on the right side. Knee is still out over the toe. If it's coming forward here, we bring it back right over the foot. Okay, turn the body so we're in a forward lunge position, keeping the back leg straight. If it becomes too strenuous, you can drop to the knee and work it from here. We straighten the front leg on two counts. We stretch the right hamstring. Right now, we press the left hip, stretching here. Ready, straighten two, begin. So one, two, bend, three. Left hip presses, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two. Three, four. One, two, three. Last time, straight and hold. Okay, bend that knee, send it back. Other leg forward. Same idea, right hip this time. We straighten, stretching left hamstring. Let's go, straighten two. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, press the hip down, four, straightening, hamstring stretch, two, three, twice more, two, three, one more time, one, two, three, four, send that foot back, both heels pressed down, calf stretch, slowly walk the feet forward, we bend the knees, grab onto the ankles, inhale, exhale, straighten, stretch hands. Inhale, exhale, straighten. Twice more, inhale, exhale, straighten. Last time, inhale, exhale, straighten. Knees bend, relax the spine, rolling up four. One, two, three, and four. Facing to the front, two breaths. Inhale, reach. Exhale, relax. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Good job. Nice workout. Thank you. The Marcy Personalized Training videos get you results. Use the Personalized Training System chart on the back of your brochure and on the store display to find your goals and sequence of videotapes to achieve them. Improve your sports performance in tennis, golf, running, and skiing. Enhance your physical appearance with cardio weight loss, Ladies Trim Tone Classes, and the Body Sculpting Series. The Marcy Personalized Training Videos, the intelligent way to a smart body. For information, please call 1-800-622-1152.